Good afternoon, friends. Uh, welcome to the mid market update from the advisor desk. Today being the last session of the week. Uh, today is the day after the expiry. We started on a flat note, uh, then the Sensex uh, went up by almost about 80 points up. Uh, and nifty up by almost 25 to 30 points uh, that's when that the, some kind of selling did came in uh, and the sensex right now as i'm talking to you has given up all the gains and is trading almost 35 points in negative on the downside as well as nifty is down by almost five to eight points uh, now this is led by the stocks such as kind of auto which is down and we have seen some kind of selling in banking as well as in real estate as well in metal stocks led by jsw steel Jinda Steel and Power, Hindalco, and Tata Steel. Uh, there's no respite today. I seen uh, we had some kind of uh, kind of one of the bad expiry yesterday when the market closed down almost 300 points down. And according to the rollovers, what we are seeing in the market as well as the Nifty futures, uh, not much long position has been rolled over. So the market kind of according to the expiry yesterday might stay a bit kind of uh, negative or weaker and it could drift downwards today as well uh, some of the news uh, or the stocks and updates that i would like to share with you guys uh, is bata india has gained more than three uh, percent today uh, after his second quarter profit uh, has kind of uh, gone up from 61 crores uh, it was 52 last uh, year ago quarter and now it's 62 so it has beaten the street estimates uh, and the stock has reacted uh, positively. Uh, friends, we have also Tata Motors. Uh, the, the rating agencies have uh, affirmed the kind of uh, double B rating to Tata Steel, but it has changed the outlook kind of from positive to stable. So that is kind of taking a drag on the mark uh, on the stock, uh, which is down nearly one and a half percent today. Uh, Friends, Kalpataru power shares rose 1% after beating the street estimates. The results are uh, more than uh, estimates. So that stock is trading positive. Uh, we have a lot of uh, results announcement happening today as well as in the, over the weekend. Uh, JSW, JSW Energy is going to come out of the results and is trading higher by more than 2%. Uh, the company is supposed, expected to post decent numbers uh, and also kind of a one-time uh, an extraordinary income would also be there up to 232 crores. So that figure needs to be watched out after take, placing the trade in the stock. Uh, Punjab National Bank uh, just announced the results. It was better than street estimate, but on the gross NPA part, they totally kind of uh, disappointed the investors as well as the market. It has touched almost 5% of the gross NPAs. So, and the net NPAs is also 2.5%. So, overall, kind of the, the NPAs have touched almost 9,200 crores uh, for the bank, uh, which is definitely not a good sign for any bank, especially PNB. After beating the estimates, uh, almost, you know, touching 1,275 crores net profit versus the expectation of 1196 crores. Uh, this stock is not uh, kind of uh, trading uh, on a good sign and is down by almost 2.5%. Uh, friends, uh, also like to mention uh, that the rupee has uh, slightly weakened, is down again uh, below 59 uh, to 59.25, 59.45 vis-a-vis -vis the dollar. After we are kind of taking the kind of flows are not uh, coming in as much as uh, the government or the market is expecting. Friends, uh, we need to watch out. Uh, today we have a couple of uh, good results. We have JSW Energy. We have uh, Wipro also going to announce the result. Uh, uh, we'll keep you posted. Uh, and for further updates, please keep tuned to our post market. Thank you.